Well, you certainly know what it looks like. It's been stuck up over the Seekonk River since 1976. The city of Providence announcing today the choice for uh, reusing the Crook Point Bridge. 12 News reporter Rosie Langello joins us with what the announcement means. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni first broke the story back in 2019 that the bridge was set to be demolished. But today, the city picked a winner after 80 proposals were submitted and a Providence based design group was selected. Imagine being stuck in the same position for about 45 years. The Crook Point Bridge is in need of a facelift. The 113 year old bridge was used until about the 1930s for passenger trains. Now, in 2021, with a new design picked, Here's what the design team is envisioning. Design really is creating a pier using the old railroad structure that you could approach the upright bridge structure um, and connect and have a series of plantings and benches so people could stay, visit, um, and really enjoy this space. They're also proposing plazas where the exiting bike path can connect through and also connect to Gano and then even a park at Gano. But the city doesn't own the land, so how would the project be funded? There would be a variety of funding sources kind of to be determined. There are a lot of things to like in terms of creating a park, but also resiliency. Mary Lorza was in attendance and said, as there are still a lot of hurdles. Now, we actually don't own the space yet, and as you remember, DOT uh, had come out with a plan to demolish it. And, you know, the first step is making sure that uh, we have a plan, we have an alternative. We intend to move this forward to make it a reality. Now, this is a long term investment, though, and it's going to take some time, but um, this is a great first step. The design group doesn't have a timeline for when this project will be done or how much it will cost. I'm Rosie Langello for 12 News.